And joining us now is Dr. Leroy Chow. Uh, thank you so much for weighing in, providing additional insight to this story. So as Xavier reported, SpaceX's latest attempt to push boundaries isn't coming without some hiccups we're seeing. What's your reaction to these delays? And do you see this launch happening on Friday? Sure. You know, as you heard, uh, there are no technical issues now. It's just a matter of forecast weather for the recovery area. And, of course, we have to consider that for safety. Reminds me a lot about the time, the days when we were launching shuttles over that 30-year period. We would have weather constraints, you know, not necessarily at the launch site, but maybe overseas at an abort site. Uh, so, you know, there. this is just what comes with the territory. This is part of the business. You're going to have delays. SpaceX, impressive their launch cadence You know, over the last year. I believe they've launched a rocket every three days or so. And so you're going to have these hiccups now then, either technical or weather. So it's, uh, you know, unfortunately, this crew's getting hit with both. Uh, but now the technical solved. It's just a matter of getting a good forecast for, for recovery. You know, we know this mission, it doesn't come without additional risks as well. What are some of the biggest dangers and how are crews facing them right now? Well, sure. You know, I have to admit it raised my eyebrows a little bit where you're going to have this non-professional crew actually go up and test a brand new spacesuit. Not only go outside, but go outside in a brand new spacesuit that's never been, you know, tested in the environment before. Uh, they're also going to have to depressurize the whole cabin. So that means everyone's going to be in their spacesuits and they're going to have to be able to successfully repressurize that. And, you know, the spacecraft has to work afterwards. None of that has been done yet. Now, Having said that, uh, I know the folks over at SpaceX, I know they take safety very seriously. They're technically excellent, so I have confidence that this will go off as planned. Uh, so it, it is exciting. It's groundbreaking. The uh, brand new suit has been thoroughly tested, I'm sure, in the vacuum, thermal vacuum chambers, uh, as has the spacecraft under those conditions being depressurized. So I think it's going to go off, uh, you know, finally, when the weather forecasts are good, it's going to go. All right, excellent. You know, despite all of these risks, SpaceX is arguing that this mission should go on because there is so much that can be gleaned uh, from this experience. What do you think we will be learning after this mission is over from this operation? How will it impact space exploration in the future? Well, I think the biggest, you know, the biggest thing that's going to happen on this mission is the, the spacewalk uh, first with, you know, non-NASA or, you know, Russian or Chinese uh, trained astronauts, but with, you know, civilian trained astronauts. And there's nothing wrong with that. I understand they've been preparing for about two and a half years for this. So uh, I think it's a new era, if you will. Uh, I think we will see in the future companies like SpaceX have their own astronaut cores. Right. And so that's going to change the dynamic. Uh, you know, it's not going to be just the uh, the government astronauts anymore. So it's an exciting new era. It's taking been taking some time for this commercial to uh, side to unfold. But it's it's starting to really do that. You're right. Back to the Boeing Starliner astronauts for just a moment. You know, they're not coming back now until February. We're learning uh, Sonny Williams mother saying she's not concerned, but that's a long time. Is it normal to be up there that long? Um, considering these circumstances, what does that sort of extended stay entail? Sure. I mean, this was uh, certainly unexpected by uh, anyone. And uh, but, you know, astronauts were adaptable. We're trained to uh, be able to roll with the punches and adapt to the new situation. Butch and Sonny are consummate professionals. I'm sure they're doing just fine. Uh, they certainly weren't expecting to stay up there till February. Uh, but, you know, the astronauts like to be in space. Uh, you know, the, the flip side of that is nobody likes, um, you know, a surprise like that, right? And so I'm sure personal plans were impacted and affected, but I'm sure it's all, they've all seemed to have adapted very, very nicely. On my own case, uh, two months before launch, we almost had to go fly for a year instead of six months, and that was kind of a shock to the system, and it ended up working out where we were only going to go, and it ended up being six months, but... Uh, you know, I know what that kind of shock <laughs> and surprise is like. Yep. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.